What's up everybody, how's it going? It's Burke, aka Dancewait here and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Final Fantasy 3, the Pixel Remaster. Been having a really good time with this game so far, and even though it's only been 15 hours, I feel like we've made very good progress and we're probably not that far away from the end. I would predict like 5 hours tops, 5-6 hours tops. I am historically kind of slower than what the averages say because of like the LP format and that kind of thing. But I don't know, I feel like I've made decent progress. I could be wrong, there could be a lot more than I think, and it could be 25 hours. If so, I don't mind. I mean, I've had a wonderful time so far. And if anything, as I've been saying, it has kind of exceeded my expectations a little bit. And so I'm very much glad for that. Now, I had, at the end of the last session, I had gotten everything I needed and I was supposed to return to Doga Manor. But it seemed like there was like a couple of flaws of travel and fighting to do before getting to Doga himself, potentially. So I just went to kind of step out, save, and then go back in um, on a fresh session. So that's generally the idea. And now we are ready to resume and pick things up where we left off at the end of the last session. Uh... Welcome back, warriors. Yeah, okay. We've seen this bit already. Oh, we got immediately teleported here? Okay, nice. Make your way through a tunnel, we await you at the end. Yeah, it said B1, so I wasn't sure if there was going to be, like, multiples. I mean, if they've numbered it, odds are there are. Because he said, like, see you at the end of the tunnel, implying that it's just a tunnel and you get to the end of it and that's it. But I think there's more to it than that. Yeah, and so we've got four enemies called Nemesis here, so that's already a little bit worrying. Um, yeah, still no level 8 slots, unfortunately. Let's see how we're doing here. Okay, that's not bad. We'll take that. This should be enough to get the job done. So they couldn't even get any moves in this time. Oh, really? What? How the hell did you survive that? Lucky boy. So this looks a dead end, but yeah, you can tell it's got like the secret path thingy. Oh, really? Those little bits like coming off the side, I really thought it meant there was a secret path there. Fine. Okay, just making absolutely sure here, but there definitely doesn't seem to be anything. Fine. Yeah, this is really not working well for me, uh, this Blizzard. Either things are strong to it here, I'm not sure. I feel like Iroga probably does really good damage, but um, a bit more struggling with the other stuff. Nice. See ya. Paralysis 2. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I thought both of them got paralyzed. Fine. Yeah, I mean, these... These are definitely proven to be dead ends so far, but you never know. The one time you ignore it as a dead end, there might be something there. So we'll just continue to wait here. There's got to be something better I can do. Yeah, like this was working well for me for a while, but it seems like less effective now. Yeah, the break spell individually is still doing okay, but I think using Blizzarga on like everything unless it's blatantly weak to ice doesn't really seem to work.
Yeah, okay. Harryton. At least we can use an arrow against this guy. Should do nice damage. There you go. Very nice. Oh wow, it survived all three of those attacks. I'm impressed. It's almost like 4,000 HP. You never know what could happen here, man. Do Doga could... Something could happen to Doga. We could end up fighting a boss. Doga could get killed. I don't know. The way, like, it's been set up, it doesn't really just seem like we're just going to have a conversation. They're going to say, yeah, okay. Off you guys go. Something's going to happen. Wow. <laughs> Punished as well afterwards. It seems to... I'm trying to think, has, does it always attack the one that's on the front row? It might be. It might be the case. Wow, come on, man. That was like a double hit. Get out of here. Especially in these old school games, those double hits, they're, they're the bane of my life. It just feels so cheap. But it's one of the only ways you can truly make a, a boss like or an enemy more difficult in these games, is just basically give them more turns. Okay. Right, now finally the they're, they're not so dead, these ends. Okay. Still saving these two for more boss battle, but then again, boss battle situations, Odin's too risky to summon because Reflect can really just mess with things, so probably better that I don't. Wow. Mm, so they carry like p paralysis with a normal hit, that's interesting. the trick. Yep. It's been a while since I was hit with the status like paralysis, but it doesn't carry through, thankfully. But that HP really starting to rocket now. It's starting to, to really see it come up. And the gap is definitely starting to notably grow here between the likes of Ingus and Refia. Seventeen hits, nice. Yeah, it's not gonna get a move in. Hopefully the arrow comes in first as well. Oof, wow. We'll say that. Then I guess the Blizzard is maybe even better than Arrow. It seems weak to ice. Put it to the test this time. <laughs> Couldn't get a move last time. This time we got the first move in, of course, to balance things out a little bit. No sleepy time. 20 hits, wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's insane. Status. Yeah, it rolled every single one. Awesome. Is this purely just like a whole bunch of goodies before we go to the next bit? Maybe. But these skeletons here are not filling me with confidence. <laughs> I 
with four of them, one or two at least get confused here. Wow. There you go, that's better. One hit KO at this stage. Still weird to see Odin not have Zantetsuken, but I don't think that's like a evoker level related thing, it just doesn't have it in this game. Okay, for now it seems empty. I did tap X as I ran around the room, but... I feel like we probably can't take him out in this next series of hits anyway. Nice. Oh, good job. Yeah, so it survived that extra thousand damage too. But it won't survive the next kick. See the, the chonkier HP though. Hmm. Let's just quickly grab the chest and then go to the other room. Shining curtain. Now is this Counters are coming through thick and fast, but we're handling it for now. We're doing fine. So Confuse is probably oftentimes doing more damage than trying to cast a spell for her at this stage, because a rogue I just don't have the slots. And when there's four of them, at least one or two tend to get it, so... And put them to sleep as well. Oh wow, the ones that's Confuse is also asleep, what the hell? Well that didn't help, did it? So much for that. That's really unlucky. I definitely was right to go outside and kind of save and prepare first before returning to this because the, the caves and, and these sort of areas are definitely getting deeper. Yeah, the rate of it working is definitely looking like around 30%-ish, I would say, for confusion. Bites the dust. Ah, nice. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I wonder what we might need to do. I mean, these guys are mages. And so, again, my logic is that if we do have to end up fighting them, if an unfortunate turn of events happen and it turns into a battle, we're going to be dealing with some serious uh, magical firepower. So. Only trouble is, yeah, like you can cast Reflect, but healing when you have Reflect is just it's tough. Honestly, for that reason, maybe I should go with the Dragoon again for Lunith, actually. At least with that one, I can do like the Blood Lance thing and just heal. And then Hope Ifrit also helps me out too. But last time Reflect really didn't last very long at all, so that's the only thing I'm thinking. 
Now we have one for each character, and that's it, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Let's not try to think too far ahead. Let's just get in there and see what happens. We haven't been able to cast a Blizzard on it yet. I am curious to see the damage it could do. There we go. So is it weak to ice? No, I don't think so. So Shiva just did a lot of damage, I guess. Wow. Yeah, back row obviously against singular enemies is not working so well for Ingus, but... Is she a level 99 yet? She is a job level 99. Dang. That's cool. Double humbubbers. I think for this one, let's go Catastro. Oof. Nice, okay. This should pretty much take him out, I think. Yeah, it's still very powerful. Nice. Quick save. Actually, I won't. <laughs> I do want to move to Dragoon again here. Just in case it really does turn into like you really need to reflect. It could change things quite significantly. So, I'm going to do that. Keep it like this for now. In fact, actually, I'm going to move Ingus front row. I think for magic, row doesn't matter. Oh, man. I think we're going to have to fight both of them. I really do. Shit. Yeah, this could be a big problem. Um, yeah, the one with the better magic defense. We'll go for that. Okay. I think because of the kick ability that can hit both of them, I think I will go for that. Okay, this could be a, a genuinely tough battle. Let's see how we do. You made it. We are about to complete the Eureka Key. But first, you must defeat Une and me in battle. That's right. Think you can handle us? What? Why do we have to fight you? Listen well. Long ago, mankind came into possession of weapons far too powerful for them to wield. They were sealed away in Eureka, but now they are necessary. In order to go to Eureka, you need the key. But to create this key, we need massive amounts of energy. Energy we can only produce in battle. No! Doga! Une! There has to be another way! We can't fight you! You're our friends! Innocent fools. If you will not attack me, then I will take the initiative. Prepare yourselves. Doga attacked. Ah! Yeah, I could see this one coming, but... Okay, so it is one, like, one at a time. Fine. Um, let's go with Catastro to start, to see if we do get that reflect happening. Oh, well. if could... I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Let me... 
I was going to cast haste, but if the evoker goes first, then obviously I'm going to bounce haste off, and I do not want to do that. So we'll start with... Let me do like a baby arrow in case it has an auto-reflect of some kind. Let's just see what we're working with here. One, four, three, five. Flare. Yeah, if that's a one-hit KO, then there's not much we can do. It's very close. So there you go. That's our reflect right there. So it was the right call. If I did haste, I would have been screwed now. But I think if I use Ifrit, then I can kind of heal um, better, basically, without having to worry about reflect. It's only going to work 50% of the time, but... The game gives you like massive clues. I mean, sometimes to the extent where like if, if you have even some kind of experience of what you're doing, it kind of gives it away. Like it gave you a whole bunch of reflect stuff. So you'd be a fool to not use any reflect in this battle. I mean, it's pretty clear. So how does, uh, let's see, let's say we put protect, okay. So arcs reflect is gone. Refuse are still there for some reason. Okay. I can give myself haste at least. I, it, does, it says I don't have reflect, so... Fine. Nice. So we're trying to get away with it with just using Odin. Yeah, we're getting the healing lights when we don't need them, but it's healing over a thousand. I mean, that's massive. So I'm going to go Catastro again. Yeah, Refi is the only one with Reflect left at this stage. Um, I think we're doing good damage here. Yeah, okay, another set of reflects. So I have been pretty lucky so far with what I've been getting. I can't complain. Ooh, just gonna be like busting out Ultima or some shit. Nice. Okay. So we made light work of Doga thanks to Reflect. But the game really pounded you over the head to, to be using that Reflect. Please don't die, Doga. Next, you will face me. Are you ready? Une, don't. We don't want to fight you. Now's not the time for chit-chat. Don't worry. Even if our bodies perish, our spirits can't be destroyed. Now, fight me. At least it's not, it doesn't seem like it's a, like an evil fighting situation. It's like, it's just part of the, the bigger plan. They have to kind of sacrifice themselves to, to make this happen. Let's just see if this is again, just pure magic based. Um, and then we'll go. 18 hits, wow. That's huge. Okay, show us what you got. Protect, very nice. I don't, well, I'm hoping Hellfire won't be affected by it, let's see. Maybe it was. I'm going to use an Eroga while I can. Ah. So far, I think it's used Demon Eye like four or five times. Oh. Only 250. Wow. Taste of your own medicine, Une. Probably not going to do much. Oh, 2,000. There you go. That's how you use that spell, dear. Um, let's keep trying. If one of them work, it would be worth it. Seems to be pure magic. I mean, it, it is a, even though it's turned into like a monstrous form, it does seem to pretty much just be magic. So I don't think I need to bother with like protect or anything like that. Ooh. Yeah, I should have bothered with a heal. 
damage output not too high, and it seems particularly weak to Ingus, which is good here. Really battle of the elements here. It's a pretty epic battle, I have to say. But low HP is usually a curse of like the old school Final Fantasy bosses. They always have low HP. So there we go. Doga and Une taken out, unfortunately. Doga! Une! Now the Eureka Key is complete. Take it with you. Received Eureka Key. Doga! No! Don't fret. My spirit will live on. No matter what state my body is in. It's up to you now. Go to Circus Tower, beyond the statues. Zand is attempting to call forth darkness into this world. He must be stopped. You must get to Circus Tower to enter Eureka. Here, take this. It's the Circus Key. You'll need this to open the door to the tower. You are not alone. We will continue to watch over you. Please, stop. Zand. Une! Receive Circus Key. Wow. Yeah, I did see that one coming in the end that we'd have to fight those two, but it is a shame. I really like them. But epic moment in the story. And well, again, the music accompanying the, the moment and the scene. Really, really good. So, I want to say Circus Key. But it's a Circus Key. Yeah, the reason I say that is because most recently I played God of War Ragnarok and, and in that there was a character called Tyr, which was T-Y-R. So when I see Y-R like that, I'm thinking Seer instead of Sir. But, I don't know. What a great theme though in there. Really, really nice, I have to say. So yeah, I think the Dragoon was a decent move. We probably could have got away with it if, even if we kept uh, the Dark Knight, but still. So since we're back to random encounter land for a while... We can do a bit of that. Um, honestly, we can just move him back again. So when are we getting new jobs, man? I swear there's another tier of jobs. Either there's more to... Again, there's more to it than I realize. And we still have like five, six hours of content to go at least. Maybe more. And I've just been playing extremely slowly. Which is possible. I've been deliberately taking it slow, as I've been as I've said multiple times. But also, still, because the game is short, it really has. So even if you're taking it at a, at a slower pace, to me, the pace of the game feels really good. There's not really a lot of downtime at all. It keeps the momentum flowing. Wow, they were not having that. Come on, someone's going to die here. Why are we doing such little damage? I think those guys were front row. Sorry, that's my bad. They were front row. Not Ingus, but at least uh, the Dark Knight was front row. What a difference it made. Just because I didn't go front row, I got KO'd here in the spell. So even though things have been relatively easy, like... You're, you're never too far away from something going wrong if you're not careful. So, Dark Knight doing way less damage did uh, mess things up a bit. Let's just heal everybody up. Again, I'm trying to not completely like teleport out of, the, out of every area once I'm finished to get a few extra battles in, in case there's something I haven't encountered or... Just to, just to get a few extra experience points as well. Wow, okay. Come on. 
Wow, missed both. Come on. We were doing better our first time through here. We were not taking 10 hits to, like before either. I swear to God we didn't see 10 hits even once on our way down here. From Cyclops at least.